good news. This is the rear disc brake setup uh, from a Ford Contour Mercury Mystique or uh, Mercury Cougar. Um, and that Cougar would be 1999 to 2002. And the Contours and Mystiques would be from 1995 to 2000. Um, and as you can see, this is not any of those cars. This is, in fact, my EXP convertible, my my 1982 Ford EXP convertible. Um, and yes, believe it or not, the rear disc and caliper from, well, from a Contour Mystique or Cougar uh, slips in just fine. This, this rotor has the same inner hole opening as the drum does, so it slips onto the stock hub, no problem. Um, and then the brake caliper, of course, more or less has to be matched to the rotor, which this one is. Um, but it is easily mounted. Now, I got this on here loose so I can take it off and show you what's going on behind it. But uh, here you can see that I just need to make a plate to mount onto the spindle's four, four bolts that would normally hold the drum brake backing plate. But instead... Um, well, all I have to do is just make a plate that goes from that to this caliper bracket or mount, whatever you'd like to call it, um, and that won't be too bad. There will be a little bit of fudging to do, because uh, you can see that the, the two surfaces are off by about three-eighths three of an inch. Uh, maybe a tad more than that, because my, my bracket is warped and my caliper is not on here perfectly square. Uh, and that's simply because these are two rusty frickin' parts from a, from a contour um, I, I scrapped this year. But I saved its brakes so that I could try doing mock-ups for, for this exactly. And yeah, who, who, knew, who knew it worked so good? So I'll be taking the, uh, the caliper in for, for a replacement. That's a core towards a new one. Uh, you can still buy the contour rear calipers and of course rotors are still available that's just the normal contour rear rotor i should say the z-tech contours and mystiques um, uh, most of them have drum brakes in the rear so any v6 contour mystique cougar any single one of those v6 cars will have this behind it and the rears didn't change throughout the years yeah, um, unlike the fronts of those cars, there was a minor caliper and, and uh, brake pad change in there um, in the late eight, uh, late 90s. But other than that, the rears didn't change at all. Um, but like I said, I got these two uh, pinched on, on each other pretty good. So Calpa doesn't really want to come off, and that's fine. It's just for mounting purposes so I can see what kind of clears and what doesn't. Um, so if I put this on all the way, you can see that the caliper doesn't quite clear this this trailing arm or the control arm as it sits like this. So when you mount these, you'll have to be more like this. You know, it it, it puts your puts your caliper somewhere between the ten o'clock and eleven o'clock position, uh, probably closer to ten because I don't have it installed, but we do have a strut that goes in that mount. I go straight up like that, that we'd have to deal with in here. So it's a narrow window, but it's it's a big enough window for us to actually make use of this. Um, and really that's, that's all we need. Um, you could put a spacer behind the hub on the back side of the rotor, but I see no, no benefit of doing, doing that other than uh, it would allow you to use a thicker plate between uh, that spindle plate and our mounting bracket. Um, but uh, parking brake cable still goes, will still work. It will go just back here instead of on the bottom of the drum. And because of its relocation, you, you just have to push the cable back some. You can see this is actually the stock Escort EXP cable. 
um, man, I have, I have a little bit of excess length. So I'll see what I have to do about conquering that. Maybe the thing I'll do is I'll route the right cable to the left and left cable to the right. Uh, and that'll, that'll help make about three, four inches of this disappear. And that, and maybe that's all I need. Because it does have to go down uh, like so. To go through this loop and then grab onto this bar back here, which is pretty easy. Um, and it, it goes through that bottom hole quite well. I can show you real quick. I'm just not going to install the, the pin in because it sucks. Um, but to do this, um, you don't really have to do much at all. You just have to spread apart these little fins, which you have to do from the get-go anyways. And if you have this little rubber spacer here, um, I think you'll have to get that gone. You can see this rubber spacer takes up too much space because on here it's a fairly th thick casting. So with that spacer gone, this will go click. And that, that metal clip collar I actually hold this guy in there snug like it did from the fa from the factory. I, I actually have a chunk of the contour handbrake cable and you can see it's it's relatively the same thing. Um, just know that the, this one died uh, in use. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that's about all there is to, to this. It's nothing too, too complicated. Uh, um, but it is neat. Now, what kind of wheels will this fit? Um, from from the center point to the outside of the caliper, it is the um, six inches exactly. So that that means, uh, you know, you you need the the wheels inside diameter can't be any less than twelve inches from, you know, from side to side, you know, full full diameter. So these thirteen inch stock steelies actually won't work at all. Um, the second I tried offering it up to this, uh, the inside was just bouncing against the caliper. So you can see that raised section there. Uh, they, they, they have those end tires not only for strength, but so that you can actually mount the tire. When you're spooning off the one side, the other side needs to, get, needs to go somewhere. And the only way you can fit a spoon between the tire and the rim is to have a place for the wheel to go. You're, sorry, for the tire to go. So a half of the tire bead has to go somewhere. That's why they make that cavity. So that kind of stinks. These 13s won't work. Uh, but I do know that 14 inch tempo rims do fit over this fine. Um, select ones I think you need a spacer for. Um, kind of really shouldn't need a spacer, but uh, I, I believe it's the cast tempo ones. You know, the ones that are made out of cast aluminum. Um, this whole surface back here across all the spokes is flat. So this caliper interferes. But if you get a quarter inch spacer you know, after your ro rotor goes on, anything will clear this top surf. You know, this, this face of the caliper. And then all you have to worry about then is this face. But like I said, it's, all you have to do is make sure you have 12 inches of of clearance between your wheel. Now sadly this only had uh, 11 inches of clearance so it won't work over this at all but most 14 inch wheels on up ought to fit around this fine. 15 inch for sure. Not a problem. I, I can promise that because uh, all contours from the get-go came with 15s or larger. Uh, Steelies might have been 14s in some cars. can't remember but yeah, Outlook is good. Um, I tried putting on the rear knuckle from a contour, but it, it doesn't really line up with anything back here. Um, the contour design utilizes two, two control arms, one back here, a, a thin one, and then a thicker one right here that goes, goes back and mounts up onto a rear subframe. And then there, there is a trailing uh, torsion arm, just like this, but... It, they all line up in different spots. Um, when I have this knuckle out and gone, 
I'll then play around with it, but eh, it's it's not looking too good right now. <laughs> but um, this is pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, someone actually did successfully do this to their 88 EXP before I did. I found that out just this morning, but um, he hasn't been able to road test it yet. That's something I haven't done yet either. I do have some new rear calipers and rotors from Contours I can throw on and try um, in the spring because right now uh, the snow is coming soon <laughs> and, and my car is no, no, nowhere near ready to see uh, to see the road again. But <clears throat> someday all my cars will be, and we'll decide whether we want the rear disc on the on the uh, on the convertible or not. I really wanted to be able to use the stock wheels because it'll be an otherwise stock stock appearing restoration, but mm, we'll see. I can always save these for for my other cars, and that's uh, that what that, that's just great. <laughs> but uh, I'm lost for words. Um, you know the the brake line for the contour it is plenty long. It's long enough to go from here to here. Um, if that's something you're worried about, yeah, that'll be fine. You might need an adapter over here, depending on what kind of hard line setup you have going, you know. Or if you're really short on rope, you can use the stock Escort EXP one, meet it, meet it like halfway on the shock, shock or something, you know, whatever. But um, we'll, we'll we'll call it good for now. And uh, keep an eye out for more videos soon.